morning. We're here for our second day of budget hearings. We have the beer board before us. I'll let you introduce the, the folks who have joined you today. I wanted to just point out that we have a, a council member Cooper in the back is with us today. Uh, and I also just want to remind the folks at home that over the next uh, several days, we are likely to hear more requests for funds than we actually have revenue for. So at the end of all of these discussions, we'll be working to identify uh, the most effective and efficient way to allocate these dollars in a way that most benefits uh, the Nashville taxpayer. So with that in mind, uh, welcome. We're happy to have you today. And we'll just start with the beer board. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Jackie Easley, the director, with me and I, the uh, chair of the board, and Judith Welch, the assistant with the beer board. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So I'll let you just uh, kick us off. Uh, you've got a request here. Your current budget is uh, $409,000. You've got five FTEs. And your requests this year are what? If, well, in the operational budget, we are requesting office personnel and scanner maintenance coverage. The scanner maintenance co coverage would just allow the regular cleaning and repair maintenance on our scanner machine. Uh, the office support representative will bring in revenue indirectly by allowing the inspectors to remain in the field, performing compliance, inspections, and continue our partnership with police department and the ABC conducting STEAM operations. Okay, and so how many inspectors do you all have at the moment? We have three inspectors. Three. And, and, ex and the office representative, support representative, would explain, I'm not ex sure I understand, what, what, what they would be able to do that would support the, this the inspectors? This would help to keep them in the field, and it would help in the office um, with the partnership with the police and the ABC. We, our civil penalties have increased tremendously. And not only that, it have increased the workload in the office. So with the office assistant that we, I have now, it, it's, her workload is, is very heavy and trying to keep up with the emails and the applications and the documents that are coming in. And we like to be able to assist the email on the day that they come in. And it's getting where that's getting kind of hard. And so if we have someone there that can sit there and help accept these emails, help accept the people at the front desk, and also city work is about to <coughs> begin in May, and that will help us to be able to enter the data and learn this new program for our department. So. Talk to me about the application process as it is now. So have you guys been able to go to a process where it's all electronic? We're not. That's what we're waiting on with the city works. And and how about for payment? Has that become all elect electronic no, that's either? with the city work as well. But the only thing that we're accepting right now online is uh, when we have our seasonal privilege tax, when that is due. And so those payments can be accepted online. And so if I want to come and do an application, I have to do it in person, and I have right to do it now, on paper. Right now, applications are accepted in person and on paper. And so after we process them, then they need to be scanned. And, and what, what's the hurdle to get to a, an online process? What, what are some of the things that would need to happen with that? Well, we're going to meet with the city work IT workers tomorrow to see, and we've been communicating um, the process. And so we never worked on it, so we're going to meet with them tomorrow to see how that can be done. But my understanding, as far as accepting the applications online, they're not going to have that in this phase, this first phase. They're just going to introduce us to the city work and get us start working with entering information and then that will come in another at another time and, and how about the payment component I know a lot of our metro departments take payment uh, with that is not necessarily a check have you guys 
what, what's the process to work toward that? Well, we've been waiting also to do it online when we get into the city works. So right now, it, we're just accepting payment in person except for that seasonal privilege tax. Okay. Talia. I have questions about revenue. That's yep. been a common Enjoy theme uh, in most of these meetings <laughs> yep. um, uh, for me. Yeah. Um, in terms of looking at your revenue projections, I mean, your history is showing that you've got significantly more uh, the past couple of years than what you're projecting in 18. Um, and I know that we did give you that additional inspector position mm -hmm. here recently. So I'm just wondering, I mean, do you, why are you projecting your revenue to be less than what you've experienced in the past couple of years? And do you have any kind of sense in terms of, of um, how much revenue is collected based on the work of the inspectors? Um, I don't have that here, but if we can get back where we do those three inspections, go to locations three times a year, because we're in training now, if we can get those regular inspections, we will have where we can find more violations, we can find more locations that are um, have changed ownership, that have not notified us, that we can get them to come in and reapply. Uh, and as far as it being, I guess we just, you know, don't want to step out of bound where, where, you know, we make those projections, but we don't reach them. I guess that's the reason we, we kind of stay a little low yeah and we sometimes we make them and we go over but we just don't like to go under <laughs> and, and part of that is a follow-up to your comment a moment ago about um, uh, civil did you tell me civil penalties have gone up and mm -hmm. that's increasing your workload so is that having an impact on the revenue estimates because I don't I don't know why we would drop these revenue estimates I'm just trying to get my head around um, around that if the penalties are going up plus you've got additional resources mm -hmm. I guess you know we just like I said we don't want to we just always have where we just don't want to overestimate and don't make it just playing it safe I guess but they are going up the civil penalties are going up with with our partnership with the other agencies. Okay. Well, and part of the reason too that she may not have, that, that the projections may not be as high as what maybe you're looking for is because we are dependent on, dependent on another department for that. You know, we don't control what the police do when they go out or the ABC. So we're kind of dependent on when they get out and do their thing. So in terms of this revenue estimate, how much in terms of the fines? How much of that do you think is generated from police and ABC activity versus beer board activity? I would say a majority of it is the police and the ABC activities, a majority of, of that civil penalty. Okay. Okay. Is that because the, the stings are more egregious violations typically? Well, our inspectors, they walk in a location, and if it's not happening, they, they can't. They, you know, if it's not happening, there is not a sale. But the police would have an informant that would go in and ask to purchase a beer. And if they sell, they got them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I guess the final thing around revenue has to do with the actual number of permits and how that might be impacting your estimate here what what kind of trends are you seeing there the permits application uh, is fluctuates each year and um, we have where this past year and we have not met the projection yet but this past year we had um, within this year we had um, a local convenience store that changed ownership. So at that time, we accepted 
like how many after 60 applications at one time mm -hmm. and um, but the others we have more special events going on mm -hmm. and a lot of times on those special events we have people that have catering permits so they don't come in and apply but we do have a lot to come in for those special events to apply to get their own permits but um, it just fluctuates okay. seasonal okay you know I'm all about revenue asking yeah. revenue questions <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think the only thing I would that I would I'd like to see a, a better plan on how we're going to go to electronic filing and all that and electronic applications I know we got the city works meeting coming up tomorrow um, I'd like to see a, a, a real plan on what it's going to take to get that done it, you know we've talked about it periodically for years now it seems like we're still a little behind the times when it comes to and I'm being critical I mean it's just the nature of the beast I know everybody's been waiting for city works to get in and, and now that's sort of taken off um, but we, but I'd like to see what it's going to take to get there, and sort of a time frame to get that done. Because uh, I think it's something that we, the, 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 cons the customers probably deserve, and I think it would make life a lot simpler for everyone. So I think it's after that meeting tomorrow, it'd be great if we could sort of establishing some sort of a plan and a time frame to get there would be good for all, so, so we all know what it is. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I guess my final kind of comment, I would like to acknowledge that uh, Fiscal Choice Consulting is uh, on board and is beginning their work this week with reviewing um, operations, and we're excited about that. I, I went to the board last week and discussed with them the scope, and I think that that was well received um, from the board, and I really do think that what, it will, what do you highlight what that means? Uh, what that means is the the organization, Fiscal Choice Consulting, who was recently engaged with Metro to do the property standards uh, review, and has also been engaged to look at permitting in the Public Works Department. Mark Sturdivant talked about that in his hearing yesterday. Uh, have also been engaged to come in and look at processes within the beer board. Uh, uh, because um, we've got all of these different permitting processes in the city. So uh, we thought would, now would be a good time to go in and to also take another look at the beer board and hopefully get those recommendations back from the consultant before the budget is filed. Yep. So that we might have some concrete action steps that can be taken um, to support you. Anything else? We appreciate you all taking the time today. Thank you so much for coming down, and uh, we'll look forward to hearing about that concrete plan and the, the results from the, the study. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Thank you.